am the Empress. Happy to be here with y'all. So let's get to it, all right? So before I go into you guys' reading, I want to welcome all of my newcomers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and click that bell to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on any future videos. As well, guys, I want to um, talk to you guys about a new product that I have, okay? So... I created my own money magnet oil. Yes, this is her. <laughs> so this is a traditional, um, a traditional recipe with a little more oomph to it. Um, but you can utilize this, guys, to attract, uh, attract businesses, business ideas. Use this to attract luck. Um, if you're like a gambler or you like to go to the casino, you can put this on, you know, as take this and use this as a good luck charm. Rub it on your hands when you're meeting new people and you're discussing money, money matters. Um, just you can, you are the magician when this is in your hand, okay? So you utilize this how you see fit, but the intention here is to manifest abundance, okay? Abundance and luck, okay? So... If you would like to order, guys, this is going to be a $22 bottle. It does include shipping, okay? Um, you see, you got, you got a few different... Well, y'all can't see it too much, but there is like... Let me see if I can put the light on it. I still don't think y'all can see it, but I got some things in here now. I got some things in here. And gosh, y'all, oh my gosh. It smells just like money. It smells just like money. It smells just like money. It's so good. Like, you can literally, like, wear this as a cologne. Okay? It smells like money. Attract it. Okay? All right. So, if you want to order yours, that information is going to be in the drop box below. Okay? So, let's talk Aquarius. I'm going to start with you guys' this read. Um... I think I'm going to do, um, today is the 18th, okay, so we can do a mid-month reading, okay, we can do a mid-month reading where we see what's coming for the remainder of the month, all right, so let's see, we'll start off with Aquarius, because I think I forgot to do you guys, I didn't forget, I just didn't get a chance to get to it, sort of, kind of. I guess that's her. But I did not forget about y'all. That's why I'm going to make you guys read him first for the mid-month, okay? So, let's talk, guys. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Ooh, let's talk. Let's see what messages we have for my um, Aquarius. What message is there for Aquarius for August the 15th through the 31st, please? What messages are there for Aquarius? What message is there for Aquarius? What message is there for Aquarius? All right, let's see what we got, Aquarius. Okay, bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Cups. We got the Ace of Cups. This is new beginnings and love. This is just a new start, okay? And then we got you planning, making plans. You're plotting on something new. You're working on something new. Could be new love, could be a new venture, but you're working, you're planning on something new. You guys have been watching. You guys have been spying on somebody here. Um, hmm, so what's going on? What's going on? Let's see. Let's see what we get. All right. So, Aquarius. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is kind of like holding back. Okay. The moon. Oh, so you've been keeping something a secret. You've been hiding something. Knight of Swords. Okay. So, now you feel like you got to rush. 
Now you feel like, see, the Knight of Swords energy is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Well, you look out, you see how fast he's moving? He's charging ahead, okay? So he's not taking his slow time like Knight of Pentacles. No, he's like, get out of the way. I'm, at, I'm here. Boom, boom. He's like, get out of the way because I'm coming, okay? But you've been keeping something a secret. I got the moon card here. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Moon. But you've been keeping something a secret because you feel like you have to do that in order to win, okay? We got the world card. Uh-huh. The world card in the past. And then we got the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. Wow. Yeah, you've been working on something. A project, okay? And you've been keeping this project a secret. You've been keeping it. Y'all been keeping this a secret. How others feel. They feel like it's very traditional. Um, you know, they feel like it's traditional. And their hopes and fears is the emperor. Is there an Aries involved or someone very dominant or control? And then we got the page of cups. See, you might pop out and go ahead and start, you know, talking about it. But I feel like there's something that you're keeping under wraps, keeping a secret. Um, I do want to see why the world card is here. Why is the world card here in the past? Why is the world card here? Oh, queen of cups. That jumped out. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, you could be dealing with a water sign. Um, I feel like we got the Two of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. Um, you're not sure if something's going to work. Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Queen of Swords. So you might be feeling like I ain't trying to step on nobody's toes. Okay, but uh, yeah, see... We got the Knight of Cups and the Strength card. It could be a Leo involved, but there's possibly like an invitation or communication with the Leo. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Justice card. Yeah, I'm getting like, hurry up. We got the Empress and the Fool. Like, I'm getting a rushed energy. Like, somebody's rushing you. Um to put something out a project that you're working on somebody's rushing you you've been keeping it a secret for long enough i'm getting uh, we got six of wands here this is going to get you some attention this is going to get you um this is going to get you uh recognition attention that you feel like you deserve like people are going to be paying you attention okay why is the six of wands here five of wands there's going to be competition like if somebody's competing if somebody's competing against you you feel like oh no you're not you're not even in my leapable um you're gonna i'm about to shut this down i'm about to shut this down okay we got that nine of pentacles see yeah you have this idea okay so why is the ace of swords here I feel like you did keep, you are trying to keep something a secret, but maybe with the Ace of Swords here, the, you're getting ready to bring this out, this secret out. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ten of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you don't want to talk about it until it's done. I got the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Swords. I, I feel like you don't want to talk about it until it's done. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? The King of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting like not taking action. Okay. Not taking action. Not talking about it. So you're still going to continue to keep it a secret. You feel like maybe that's going to stir everybody, stir everybody up. You know, so when you do drop this project here with this Three of Pentacles, something that you've been working on, you've been working on something. This could be work-related, career-related, career or business, okay? Yeah, Nine of Swords, okay? So these are thoughts, okay? So you're thinking about this, whether you should keep this a secret or not. Maybe you're wanting to give them a sneak peek. Okay, maybe you want to give people sneak sneak peeks. Why is the nine of swords here? The five of pentacles. 
Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Why is the why why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Ace of Wands. Okay. There is a new idea, a new project that you are working on. Okay. You're worried about it a little bit because I feel like you're trying to keep it under wraps, keep it like on the low. Because you have competitors. You feel like you have people competing against you. Why is the Hierophant here? You could be dealing with the Taurus. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so others see you as very successful. Um, and, you know, you're minding your own business. you in your lane. You're doing what you're doing. But I feel like people also think, like, you know, that with the Hierophant card, this is something that's very tradition, something that, you know, that is um, something that everyone could look up to. And there's something that they're used to seeing. Not saying that it's something that's, um, but it's just something that they expect from you. Okay. Nice, clean, um, very well put together. Okay. Why is the Emperor here? All right, so with the Emperor, we got, that's Aries, this energy. We got the Seven of Swords. So maybe you fear somebody's uh, is coming to steal your idea, okay? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? So I'm feeling like there's an issue with control or authority, Okay. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like some of y'all are afraid to take a chance, too. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? That's great. That's great energy. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so... You could also be afraid of trying to juggle, okay? Maybe you feel like, um, maybe some of you, this is a new project, but you have other things going on as well. Yeah, like, you do you have the time for it with the Four of Swords, okay? Why well, is the Page of Cups here? Page of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. Knight of Cups, okay? So there's communication, okay? Somebody's getting an invitation, or are you sending out invites? Okay, why is the Knight of why is the Knight of Cups here? This is an invitation um, of some sort. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Nine of Wands. Okay. You're keeping a guard up. Like you're protecting this idea, this business. You're protecting it. Like I feel like you don't want something to happen like it did the last time. Okay. So you are very cautious on who you let in on these ideas. Okay, why is the moon card here? I do want to see why that's here, and I'm going to let you guys go. Why is the moon card here? A page of wands. Okay. The hermit and the ace of cups. Okay. Somebody's looking for something new. Looking for something new. Or somebody is saying that they're looking for something new. Why is the Page of Wands here? There's a new business. Five of Swords. There's there's some um there's some negative energy here as well too. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Somebody here like said a smart or nasty remark here, um, and somebody saying that somebody is jealous or is a competitor. I'm getting a lot of competitiveness competitiveness energy okay i'm getting like a com a competition um and i feel like it's in regards to someone starting a new job or someone starting a new business somebody getting a position at work something to that nature but i feel like you are very well prepared i got you guys energy very much so is cautious um and you know keeping things under wrap until it's time for things to come out to the public okay why is the nine of wands here yeah, the chariot card, okay? So you're going to be cautious moving forward anyway, okay? So you're you're up on game. you up on the game, and you're going to be taking the proper precautions, okay? So you guys let me know how you feel about this reading. 
um, in the comment section below. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is in the drop box below. And I will talk to y'all later. Ciao.